Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to use the narrator function on Windows 10. So text to speech is virtually what this program is doing and it's taking what is on your screen and vocalizing it through audio. So if you have a hard time seeing your screen, this tutorial will be primarily focused for those guys. And we're going to pretty much start by accessing the start menu to set it up. And once we're on the start menu, we're going to select the settings icon on the far left side. It should say settings on it when you hover over it. And once the settings window is up, we're going to left click on the ease of access tile. We see that underneath it says narrator, magnifier, high contrast. So you want to left click on this tile. Okay, so make sure you're underneath the narrator setting on the far left side. That should be the first page it actually loads, to be honest. We see on the right side of the window it says here text and controls on the screen. Narrator is a screen reader that reads all the elements on a screen like text and buttons. So if you want to enable this feature, you want to toggle both of these to the on position by clicking on the oval, and then you'll know it's in the on position and then you can see right when it starts and you can see right when it starts and I start hovering my mouse over stuff it'll start reading it aloud and you can actually change the voice of what appears by left clicking this little drop down arrow Okay, so I just selected one here, and I'm going to close out of the window. And we... And this is a perfect example of when we were prompted in a, this dialog window. The screen reader will automatically start telling us what is on the screen, and it will tell us what option we've selected. So we see that right now, by the blue highlighting, would suggest that we are currently selecting the no option. If I were to use my mouse or to use my keys on my keyboard to move over to the yes position, it'll tell us that we've selected the yes button, and it'll tell us a keyboard shortcut that we've either touched as well. So either way, you should know that you're currently selecting the yes option. And then if we close out of here, and then if we head over to the start menu, it'll start reading the start menu as well. And if you select something in the start menu and use your arrow keys, it'll actually tell you what you're selected over. So this is actually a pretty powerful um, voice narrator. I'm probably going to have to turn on the system audio a little bit for the recording because it might be kind of hard to hear over me for parts of this tutorial. And I apologize for that, but it's kind of hard to hear the narrator speaking while I'm giving a demonstration on its capabilities. But virtually it will really give you a wide variety of important announcements as to what you're navigating over. So if I highlight over the Microsoft Edge web browser down on my taskbar, and I click on it. It'll tell me that I have the Microsoft Edge browser open. And it'll tell me that this is the new tab button, as you could clearly hear. And if I select anywhere in the address bar, Microsoft Edge window about blank ping. Search or enter web address. Editing HTTP colons. Waiting for application to respond. Please wait or switch to a different application. So if you can pretty much get the gist of what the narrator just said, um, this would be the search menu. Once the page is already loaded, I click back in the search. Okay guys, so I'm basically muting my speaker, um, but I think you guys pretty much get the gist of this. This is not designed for the average user, possibly to the point of insanity after a few short minutes. But I hope this tutorial was helpful to some of you guys or if you know some relatives or family or friends that could use this.
it's definitely worth checking out. So as always, I hope you guys enjoy this brief tutorial, and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.